Well, good evening, everyone, and how is everybody doing? Just coming in for a follow-up. Um, I had a soccer game to go to. My kid, my boy, was playing soccer this evening. We got home late, and I had saw before we left that uh, Tim Ferreter was wanting out, and he was denied. He was denied. 13 pages the judge ruled on that uh, he's not getting out and he's got to stay until he's sentenced and uh, wow I had a feeling I think all of y'all did too we kind of knew that was coming I mean you know all right here well, he let's is. get right uh, into this let's see what's the there. day he was getting arrested when he was found guilty and the judge said Take him back now. Like, oh my God. He didn't. He didn't spare no time at all. He's like, you are going. Look, he looks. And here he is. He side looks, by side. The one on the left, he's uh, three days before trial. And the other one, y'all know, was the other day. Uh, the one on the left, he looks like he has more color, a little more pink, a little more, you know. This other one, man, he looks scared, worried. And plus, he's probably freezing, too, on top of everything above. It's, uh, it's sad. It's sad for him. It's sad for their well, whole family. I got a news brief it truly, from it truly, it truly is. Florida Palm Beaches. Treasure Coast, WPTV News, and they've got the story. Here it is. I'm Jay Cashmere. This is the 13-page written order from Judge Howard Coates denying a request by Tim Ferreter's defense team to release him on house arrest before his sentencing. Did you 13 pages he had to write to say, no, you ain't getting out. But her father, who was convicted of child abuse, child neglect, and false imprisonment, will now stay behind bars until the sentencing next month. Ouch. The judge wrote in this ruling that the defense failed to provide any evidence that Ferreter would not be a flight risk, and the circumstances changed with his conviction. He added that a significant attachment to the community no longer exists with the sale of his Jupiter home. Ferreter was convicted by a jury for locking his adopted son in a box-like structure in the garage of their home for periods of time. This happening in early 2022. He was in court on Thursday for the hearing to determine whether he would be released. Judge Coates held his decision pending review of case law before issuing this denial. Priya Murad, Tim Ferreter's defense attorney, gave me this statement today saying, quote, we're disappointed about the court's ruling, though we understand it is more challenging to get a bond set after a guilty verdict. Tim is an ideal candidate. He was willing to surrender his passport to alleviate any concerns. The statement went on to say, quote, it's... I mean, do y'all think just because he gives up his passport is going to stop him? It doesn't stop the people from coming across the border. We got hundreds of thousands by the week pouring in with no passport. <laughs> I think he is a flight risk. I mean, come on. I mean, unless they had put police officers, who's going to spend money on that? And he could cut his ankle bracelet and take off. I don't know. I don't. I, in, th in this, his attorneys, they're pathetic. They they were just terrible for him, but I, I don't know. They didn't have any other defense. But, you know, saying to the fact that uh, he was an ideal candidate to get out is absurd. It's an undisputed fact. He had no violations while out on bond pretrial and doesn't have custody of any of the children. If anyone deserved the court's discretion, it was Tim. However, we have faced challenges in this case from the beginning and will keep fighting at every turn, end quote. Fair I think he thought he was going to win. If he didn't, he didn't want to testify against his wife, which, you know, everybody's a Monday morning quarterback, but they both should have said, yeah, we, we need to take this. And their defense attorney should have told them, y'all go ahead. You know, tell each other's guilty, testify against each other, and take that plea deal. I mean, he would have served like two years or something like that. I mean, I think he was kind of narcissistic. And it, why would he think he could win this case? 
with the thousands of audio footage, video and audio footage of, of uh, constant berating this kid is insane. Carter will be sentenced November 16th. He faces up to 40 years in prison. His wife, Damn. Tracy, is facing the same charges. Damn. He's still awaiting trial. That's the latest today. I'm Jay Cashmere. Back to Damn. you. Damn. Well, I'm Jay Cash again, there he is. There he is. The thing is, is that I was listening to some other attorneys, uh, and a lot of them were throwing out 10 years. Uh, they're, you know, the minimum, I mean, the highest they can give him is up to 40, but I, I don't, they're all thinking that it's not going to be that high, that it'd probably be 10, 10 years, something like, something that. like that. Well, well the, sentencing, the sentencing, I definitely, uh, want to see that and just curious of how much time they will give him. I mean, it is a tragedy all the way around for the whole family. I mean, this guy, they had money. They had a beautiful home. It just, things went south. They, hey, whether he truly thought this was okay, I don't know. He should have talked to somebody because this doesn't feel okay. I mean, any sane person out there with kids understand this. I'm fixing to post a soccer game I went to tonight. My my boy played soccer this evening. That's why I'm late on uh, the updates on the boy in the box case with him being denied getting out. But, I mean, we all know our kids get, can get on our nerves. Oh, yeah. Big time. Make you real angry. <laughs> Especially when they're teenagers and they got that smart-ass mouth. But you can't lock them in a box. They had to, I mean, that just feels creepy. I mean, I mean, do we yell at our kids? Yeah, I do. I, you know, you get mad. I'm not cur cursing at him. But the thing is, we, we get mad, we get frustrated, you know, we do the best we can, but we can't throw them in a box for Pete's sake and turn the light out and he's in pitch black. That just don't make no sense to me. It doesn't matter how mad he, angry he gets me if he spray paints the front porch with uh, uh, black spray paint because he wants to paint something. Yeah, it makes you real mad. But what am I, what are you going to do? You just take some of their stuff away and then knock it off, you know. And, and you know, and things move on, and then, you, you know, tomorrow's a new day. Every day's a new day, and that's how you got to deal with it. At least that's how I have to deal with it. But anyway... Y'all let me know what you think, um, how much time you think he's going to get. Like I said, I heard estimates, 10 years, some uh, couple attorneys. I've been uh, checking it out, and that's the, uh, the consensus, I guess. But I don't know. This judge is tough. He, he was a good judge. He really was. I don't think he played favoritism on either side because I watched a whole lot of the trial. He did a good job, um, except Tim's poor defense was, was horrible. But again, we had just a broken record. What else, what else could they have done? These parents thought they were doing the right thing. They made a bad choice, well, and that, that was, was their my... defense. That was it. Update for you guys. Uh, I kind of had to get this done. It's getting late. We got another game tomorrow. You know, you got to do stuff around the house and all this stuff. But uh, this is pretty much what I got done this evening. I thought I should do this because I've been keeping up with the trial and I wanted to do a follow up and uh, for you guys. And plus, you know, we're all curious about what's going on and looking forward to the sentencing and her trial. I mean, I'm curious how much time is he going to get. And wow, her trial date hasn't even been set yet. So there you go, guys. Thank you for joining me. If you made it to the end, <laughs> I appreciate it. And thank you so much. And y'all have a wonderful evening. Peace out.